Leon Fu Bartfort is an ordinary office worker who has a pretty boring life. When he's not working, his little sister forces him to play an Otome game. One day, Leon hits his head and dies. But his death isn't permanent, as he gets reincarnated into an Otome game world. This world is the Holfort Kingdom, and in this land, women are the superior class and men are husbands to the powerful noble ladies. In the kingdom, there's a combination of giant floating islands that have rural lands and also futuristic cities. Leon has been reincarnated into a family where his father is married to Lady Zora. Ten years pass, and Leon accepts his new life, growing up and learning how to adapt. When he reaches a certain age, he's preparing to enroll into the academy. This is a special school where men find their wives or they become paramours. His stepmother, Zora, all of a sudden announces that Leon must marry her friend's ugly older daughter. Leon now has to use his knowledge of the game world to find a powerful ship. This ship, called Luxion, in the original game was found and captured by the game's female protagonist. Leon disappears, trying to find the ship and finally, he manages to locate it. The only problem is that Luxion is controlled by an artificial intelligence, and at first, it tries to kill Leon because he's classified as a new human. New humans are a special species of humans who can use magic and kill other humans who don't have magic. But the Luxion ship recognizes Leon as its owner when it realizes that Leon has an old human soul. In the meantime, Zora thinks her stepson is long dead and she moves on with her plans. After a while, Leon returns back home, but now rich from all the treasure he found in various dungeons. Leon, who's now almost as wealthy as his stepmother Zora, chooses to start the academy, but as an independent man. He can ignore the arranged marriage Zora had in mind, and he can begin his journey at the academy. Because of his material status and accomplishments, Leon is made a baron, which means he can only marry a woman who is also a noble. Leon realizes that the game's story is beginning. Prince Julius and his friends Brad, Greg, Chris, and Jilk are part of the romantic storyline and will be chosen by the female hero of the story. Leon also recognizes Angelica Redgrave, who's the villain of the story. Game events start to happen, but in a different way. Originally, the main heroine of the story slaps a man, but in this version, she slaps a girl called Marie. Julius starts to become closer with Marie, which angers his fiancée, Angelica. Meanwhile, Leon realizes that the real heroine of this story is a scholarship student and commoner, Olivia. Several of the Academy's students, including Leon and Olivia, go dungeon exploring. It's then that Angelica starts getting angry at Marie for interacting with her fiancé. Julius tells Angelica to stop bothering Marie. Suddenly, several monsters start attacking the group, and this is when Leon realizes the noble students are using Olivia and himself as human shields. Leon and Olivia manage to defeat the monsters, and Julius takes all the credit for their victory. Later on, Marie is helping Julius with his injury. When Angelica tries to get involved, Julius sends her away. Leon notices that something's wrong with the story. Marie's hiding something, and it seems that somehow she replaced Olivia as the main protagonist of the story. Olivia also heals Leon, revealing she has magic powers. Marie's being harassed by bullies and Angelica, so Julius forbids them from contacting her. This is an event that happens much later in the original game story. Olivia and Leon see that Marie is also secretly seducing Brad, one of Julius' friends. It seems that Marie is somehow aware that she's in a game. Leon orders Luxion to keep researching Marie as he suspects she might also be a reincarnated human like himself. Angelica tries to reveal to Julius that Marie has been cheating on him with other men. Unfortunately for Angelica, it seems that Marie has already made all five male characters totally fall in love with her. When Angelica tries to challenge Marie to a duel, all five of her love interests stand in her defense. Leon remembers that originally, this duel in the game ends with Angelica being humiliated and forced to marry an abusive husband. 
Leon decides to stop this from happening, so he volunteers to duel instead of Angelica. The duel is set up, and they use giant robotic suits named Armors. Leon also realizes Marie is definitely aware this is all a game storyline, and he also sees that students all over the academy are betting money on their match. The day of the duel arrives, and Leon is equipped with the robotic armor called Aragans. The battle pits Leon in his armor against the five guys in their own robotic armors. Olivia is confused why everyone's making fun of Leon's armor, but Angelica reveals that Aragans is an old model called a lost item. It was made by the old humans, and it's too big and slow, while the newer models are agile and fast. The battle begins with Leon facing off against Brad first. Leon accidentally equips a shovel for his weapon, but still uses it in battle against Brad and his giant lance. Using his experience playing the game, Leon beat Brad with no problem. Craig joins the battle with his spear, but Leon is able to break his armor with ease and defeats him. Chris has a large sword and engages in the battle, but Leon uses a gun and destroys the sword in just a couple shots. Greg's exposed as a weak and scared bully. Luxion informs Leon that his armor, Aragans, has explosives planted inside of it. It's revealed that Leon's sister on this world, Jenna, is angry that he's fighting with other rich nobles, so she's decided to sabotage him. Leon expected this, and he knows Aragans can take the hit. Jilk and Leon fight, but it's a short battle as Leon manages to beat him even with the explosives detonating. The final battle begins with Julius and Leon. The two talk, and Leon tries to find out if Julius even knows Olivia. Julius says he's heard of her, but they've never met. This was a crucial part in previous versions of the game's story. Leon tries to play mind games with Julius and mocks him for the fact that Marie has four other partners, including him. Julius is angered by this and tells Leon that Marie truly loves him and he doesn't care about the rest. Leon also tells him that if he rejects Angelica, there's a very good chance that he'll no longer be a prince and will be stripped of all his titles. Ignoring all his warnings, Julius still wants Marie and attacks Leon with full force. Leon manages to destroy his armor and wins the duel. Julius officially decides to end his engagement to Angelica, and Leon makes a secret deal with Angelica's father. They agree that Leon will leave the academy, will have all his noble titles stripped in exchange for him being protected from Julius and his family. Angelica's father agrees, but only with one other condition. Leon must take Angelica with him to the countryside. For some time, Leon, Olivia, and Angelica enjoy life at his private island far away in the countryside. They have fun in the hot spring baths and become better friends. Meanwhile, all five love interests that Marie has brainwashed lose their titles and have to work as commoners. Julius and the rest of the guys now raid dungeons to earn a living. Even if the job is very dangerous, the guys actually enjoy it and have fun. Julius's parents, the king and the queen of the land, promote Leon to a higher level of noble because of the lesson he has taught their son. This annoys Leon, as now he must return to the academy once more to find a wife. He's happy he's not doing it all alone. He has good friends and support in Olivia and Angelica. A special academy festival approaches, and Leon decides to host a maid cafe with Angelica and Olivia. Meanwhile, his sister Jenna reveals that she's managed to steal a rich nobleman's son from one of her friends. She now wants Leon to scare the friend's family away so that Jenna isn't bothered by any of them. Leon refuses, as he has had enough of his sister and her trickery. At the same time all of this is happening, Marie also opens a competing cafe with Julius and all of her love interests. During the workday at the cafe, Olivia serves a special customer, Carla Fu Wayne, who really wants to meet Leon for a special request. Julius's mother, Queen Mylene, also joins the festival to finally meet Leon and see how her son is doing. The Queen witnesses Olivia, Leon, and Angelica being harassed by the daughter of Count Offrey. Her name is Stephanie, and she's horrible to even the Queen without knowing it. Leon has finally had enough, so he beats up Stephanie's servants, and when Stephanie realizes she was just rude to the Queen, she runs away. Leon immediately falls in love with Mylene, which flatters her. 
Julius joins in the conversation and is angry at Leon for flirting with his mother. Queen Mylene then shames her son for not behaving as a true noble and not having any honor. She also demands to meet Marie as she's curious how this girl has managed to manipulate everyone to be at her side. Carla and Leon finally talk and she begs him to save her family from being ruined. That's the recap of the first part of this anime, Trapped in a Dating Sim, the world of Otome games is tough for mobs. If you want to see more anime recaps like this, you know what to do. Smash that subscribe button and drop a like to this video. That's it for today, anime fans, and I'll see you all in the next video.